Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Today I'm going to give you an update on the third of four litters of Suriname True Red Tails that I had this season. I'm going to show you the mother as well as the father, get out my close-up lens and take a look at the babies up close, and also say a little bit about how you can acquire one of these boas if you're looking to get a top-notch True Red Tail boa. So be sure to stay tuned for that. So 2022 was a really good year for me for Suriname True Red Tails with five litters total. And this was the third of the four litters. So I got lots of babies that I'm taking care of right now. Some are gonna go to their new home shortly. Uh, so this is the a litter, this is actually the mother. And she, this is her first time litter. She was born in 2014, bred by Russell LaFleur. And as you can see, she's quite small, especially for an eight year old true red tail boa. She's probably about five feet long, maybe even a little less than that. And um, this female just grew slowly. You know, she was fed a normal diet. In fact, she was given extra feeding for quite some time to try to get her to grow a little faster. But some boas are just genetically not programmed to get really large. I've been getting a lot of interest in this one because people think, well, maybe this is a new bloodline of dwarf true red tails. And although I can't say specifically that this is a dwarf true red tail, she definitely has the genetic potential to have babies that aren't gonna get quite as big. So her babies, you know, they might not be quite this small as adults, but I wouldn't imagine that they're gonna be really all that large either. And the male that I bred her to was pretty typically sized male. I'll show you him in a few minutes. But again, it's probably pretty likely that some of the babies are gonna be a little bit less, you know, big than a typical true red tail boa. And this female I really like. She's got these really nice peak saddles, really nice color, kind of, you know, um, kind of a buckskin color with lots of like pink and purple highlights. And just a really nice boa. Really strong, she really likes to hold on, but she's pretty nice to handle. And this boa I always enjoy taking out. And she's also completely unrelated to all the other boas in my collection. So it's great to have this new bloodline you know to diversify the genetics of my collection and so I had uh, she had a litter of 11 really nice babies and they're all doing really well they've all eaten a few times they all fed no problem and they're going to be ready to go pretty soon here in fact I really like these ones and because she's a different bloodline I'm planning on keeping probably a pair for my collection you know, as if you've been following the channel, you know I'll have a lot of these really nice Surinams. So the other litters, I'm not planning on holding any back, but I really want to hold back some of these from this particular litter. But there still will be quite a few available. So with that in mind, I'm going to get out my close-up lens and let's take a close-up look at some of the babies. Here's a pretty typical example of a baby from the litter. So you can see this guy has got the Nice peaky saddles, nice long red tail. Incidentally, these guys were a little bit pissy when I went to grab some. Uh, so, you know, they started hissing and, you know, sometimes one starts and then the rest of them hiss. And then you got this cacophony of snake hissing. So I don't know. I think some of them are going into shed like this guy. So that might be the reason why. But it kind of limits the ones I'm going to take out because I don't want to lose any blood today. But just a really nice looking animal. Let him slither by. Incidentally, the tails of these guys are kind of a deeper red. They're not quite as deep or dark red as they look in these videos. I think it's just because of the lighting in my snake room where I film the videos. Here's another really nice example. And this female has the color of the father, who we'll see in a few minutes. But just this really deep saturated pinks and purples and salmons and nice long red tail. This female actually is in shed right now so her colors aren't quite as bright as normal but I think this one might end up being my holdback. Just really like this one. There's a side shot hopefully gives you a better idea about the colors on her side. Here's another nice baby from the litter. And you know, I think this one is also going into shed. So these guys are a little bit over a month old right now. And they had their first shed, of course, about a week and a half after being born. And so this is about the time that they have their second shed. But it's good. And, you know, they 
I have no doubt that these guys are in really good health just from the shedding and the they probably put on a couple inches as well and so this one you can see has the peak saddles not quite a perfect uniform appearance you can see that slightly unusually shaped saddle there some people like the you know perfectly symmetrical saddles sometimes it's good to have a few that are just kind of a little bit different it gives them kind of their own unique look and the saddles on a boa are just like fingerprints no two boas have the same exact saddle patterns and you can even use it to tell different boas apart kind of fascinating but look at that really nice tail this one has a really nice symmetrical looking deep red tail i'll show you guys one more baby from the litter and as you can tell this guy's not uh, too thrilled to be on film right now he was hissing quite a bit when i took him out he was just in strike position but this is another really nicely colorful example from the litter it probably takes after the dad a little bit more than the mother in terms of the color and i think he's also in chat so his colors aren't quite as nice, but hopefully you get an idea about the color of this guy. Okay, he seems to have calmed down a bit, but he doesn't want to sit still. So I can't get him to cooperate from the camera. He's actually coming right towards me right now, kind of climbing up the camera strap. Sometimes it can just be really challenging to film these guys. Probably why I'm a boa breeder and not a wildlife cameraman. Anyway, I hope you got a good idea about the looks of these baby Suriname true red tails and this video was somewhat helpful. Now that we've seen a few of the babies, I want to show you the father of the litter. And so this is the father. He's a 2016 born Suriname red tail born here, one of my holdbacks. And this guy is from my original bloodline of Suriname red tails, which I refer to as my Picasso line. And it's a line I've been working with since 2009. So Picasso is a really nice boa from 2014. He's not the founder of the line, but since, you know, I like the name and he's the only one that I've actually named. So I just call it my Picasso line. And so this particular male is a full sibling to Picasso. He's a 2016, so he's two years younger. And you can see he has this really nice purplish color. Lots of pinks and purples, nice peak saddles. Just a really nice example of a Suriname true red tail. Of course, he's got the long red tail as well. And I'd say he's about six feet long. He's a pretty typical size for an adult male Suriname. Well, not quite as small as the female from the litter. But lots of really nice colors on this guy. And some of the babies, as you saw, really have the nice color that they inherited from this guy. So I think you'd be really happy with one of these babies if you're looking for a nice really colorful Suriname true red tail. And so speaking of that, how can you acquire one of the babies? Well, I imagine they're gonna be ready to go in maybe three to four weeks or so. You know, they're pretty close to being ready. They just need to eat a few more meals, just make sure that everyone's okay. But they all seem like they're really doing very well right now. And so I'm going to put them up on my Flickr page where I have photos of all my available animals. So you can check the Flickr page. There's a link in the description under the video. I also will say a little bit in a future video with announcements of upcoming BOAs that are available. So stay tuned to the channel as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I actually already have a couple litters of Surinams available right now for my first two litters. So you can see those at my Flickr page. I still have some available, some have sold, but there's some really nice ones still looking for a new home. So check them out if you're interested in getting a Suriname True Red Tail. And then of course, check back again if you specifically want one from this litter. So I hope this was a helpful video. As always, shoot me any questions or comments that you may have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.